my first ever attempt at an Aurora Australis, the Southern Lights. Never seen them, I've never seen them at all, but I've never seen them this far north. I've never seen photographs of them this far north. I'm on the North Island of New Zealand. I've seen plenty of photographs from down south, even on the south coast of the North Island, down Wellington Way, but I've never actually seen any this far north. So uh, who knows? I'm expecting nothing but hoping for something. So uh, we'll just see how we go. We've got a real slight crescent moon. So uh, worst case scenario, if we don't get an Aurora, we'll get a Milky Way shot. Could be a long night. It's now 6 p.m. It's bloody cold. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, rural central Hawke's Bay. Just a case of waiting, watching, hoping now. I'm going to try a quick 30 second exposure, 2.8, ISO 3200, and I'm just going to see what that gives me. Because uh, maybe, just maybe, I can't see it, but it's there. Who knows? Let's give it a go. I'm just going to put it on a two second timer, and we'll go for, we'll go for 20 seconds initially. See what that gives me. Not expecting much but you've got to be in it to win it. Down here, it's the Aurora Australis, the Southern Lights. Are we going to see them tonight? <laughs> Who knows? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Yeah, well, there's Jack all there, mate. Jack all there. Oh my God, we're on, we're on, we're fucking on. I, I expected nothing tonight. A little bit of video introduction, thinking, oh yeah, it's just not going to happen, you know what I mean, whatever. Took a test shot on the back of the camera, thought, no, nothing there. And then I looked, I, I could see it, I could actually see it down the line. I could physically see the glowing red. Mind blowing, just mind blowing. And then for about an hour, an hour and a half, I could see the lights just dancing about, just doing the thing. So intense. And I'm buzzing about making photographs, forget the video, make the most of it while I could. And then I've kind of just moved on a bit because it seemed to be fading a bit. I found a couple of dead skeletal trees, winter trees, and I've got the Milky Way running sort of above it. You can't really see the Milky Way so much. You can, you can actually see it now. I'm literally just popping shots off. It's just making some insanely beautiful photographs. It's still glowing incredibly red to one side. It's a bit darker towards the other side. And then the bottom of the frame, it's just this bright glowing sort of yellowy sort of color. Nuts, absolutely nuts. When do you stop? I'm not stopping, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep shooting. Never, ever, ever, ever seen anything like this. I'm parked at the side of a bloody deer or a stag farm or something. And they're getting pretty horny by the sound of it. I'm glad there's a big fence between them and me. Let's just have a look at that one I've taken just then. You wouldn't believe it, honest to God. I've got the galactic core of the Milky Way running right through the middle of the Aurora to the left hand side of the tree. And, and just, oh, honestly, I've photographed some cracking night skies before, but nothing like this. What a storm, what a storm it is. I know, mate, I know. <laughs> I'm feeling sad, mate, it's been a while. So obviously it's doing a blank frame as well now, noise reduction. Oh man, it's getting more intense. I can see it visually. Come on, hurry up with the noise reduction. I'm gonna have to turn this noise reduction off. I can't be doing with this. I'm gonna expose your noise reduction, there you go. Get off. That is nuts, look at it. You can't, you can't see it, what am I talking, you can't see it. Shoot again, shoot again, shoot again, shooting. That is nuts, that is, that is more intense now than what it was earlier. Well, I've just had 10 minutes of absolute insanity. The sky has kicked off big time, there's like big curtains coming down or big streaks coming down. It really looked like there were sort of spotlights coming down for the clouds. And it's, it's still there now, I can still see it now, it's mad. Just keep shooting, once in a lifetime thing this. Once in my lifetime anyway, <laughs> freak me. So intense a couple of minutes ago, I couldn't even see the Milky Way, but the Milky Way's back now, I can see that. The glowing is more to the right of me, but there's nothing there. I've got a shelter belt of trees there, so there's, there's nothing really to photograph there. 
that's my main photograph there, those dead trees.